Putting on lower body clothing is important, especially if you have to leave the house. In today's video, I'll cover how to put on pants and shorts using one arm, both with and without adaptive equipment. Let's get into it. All right, so let's start off with shorts. Now I've got a nice oversized pair here so I can show you. And in this video, my right side, left facing you, is going to be my affected side. Now, if you've watched my how to put shirts on with one arm, you will know the main guideline that I like to use to work smarter, not harder, which is affected side in first and out last. So that's how we're gonna start putting our shorts on. So you're gonna open up to your shorts leg, bend down and scoop that leg over your affected foot. Pull up and then pull it up underneath your affected leg just a bit. Now we wanna do this on a nice, solid, stable surface. Um, because we are gonna be doing some bending over. We don't wanna be sitting on a chair with rollers or anything like that. You want it to be nice and sturdy. Now from here, we've gotta get our unaffected leg inside the other pants leg. So you can lift up and push in through the other pants leg. Now from here, we can go one of two ways. We can stand up to shimmy them up and get them buttoned or we can lay down. So I'm gonna show you standing up first. Now remember, only stand to finish getting your shorts on if you feel comfortable and confident that you are stable enough to stand and do this at the same time. Otherwise, have somebody with you or do the second method that I show you. Okay, so we will come to standing. We'll shimmy one side up you can shimmy up your unaffected side, then go get the affected side shimmied up. Until you have it pulled up as far as you can. Now from here, I recommend zipping the zipper. That's actually gonna get your button a lot closer to the hole that it needs to go through. And then you can either button with your fingers, or if that gets a little too complicated, you can always use a button hook. Okay, so taking off is just in reverse. Slip it off, unzip, shimmy one side, shimmy the other. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy down. All right, now let's get to where we were before. We were sitting with our pants halfway up. Now the other way that we can get those shorts up is to lay down and shimmy, but while laying down. So let's go ahead and lay down. So from here, you can go, <laughs> there's another one of two ways. If you have enough strength and range of motion to bear weight through your feet and bridge up, you can pull your shorts up this way and then zip and button laying down. If that is too difficult, you can do the rolling method. I'm gonna roll to my affected side and pull up, pull up, pull up as far as I can. And then I'm gonna come over and pull up on my unaffected side. Come back to the middle, get your zipper up, and button your button. A lot of people uh, that I've worked with have trouble with that initial reaching down part. So using something like a reacher can be really helpful to get the shorts started over your toe. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. We're gonna stick to our um, same guideline, affected side in first, out last. But this time we're gonna be using a reacher to help us. So we are going to take our reacher, also known as a grabber, and we are gonna grab onto the affected side of the shorts leg. We're gonna lower that down and try to pull, pull, pull. You may have to readjust your reacher just a little bit to get 
the leg over the toe of your foot. And then, just like before, you can pull that pants leg up so that your affected leg is just laying on it just slightly. And then, you can bring your other leg up. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the button hook standing up. So let me go ahead and get into position. So it's going to go through that little slit around your button, and then you are going to pull, pull, pull through. Until you have it buttoned. And there you go. Okay, we are moving on to pants next. And I've got a nice oversized pair here to show you with. So for pants, what I would actually recommend is if you can, while you're sitting on your bed, couch, um, stable, large chair, is to turn sideways and get your affected leg up onto the bed, couch, whatever. Because what we're gonna do with the pants is actually kind of bunch them up so you're gonna reach all the way down to the opening of the pants at the bottom. And you wanna to try to scrunch all of that up. And then once you have that scrunched and you're holding the whole leg there, you're going to just thread your foot through that pant leg. It's gonna make it a little easier and a little quicker than the first way I showed you with the shorts, which is bending down and trying to um, put your pants over your foot. A lot of the times if you're dealing with drop foot where your foot is in plantar flexion, that's gonna make it even more difficult to try to get those pants pulled up. So this is kind of my workaround to that. Now from there, keep a hold on your pants and you can help drop your leg back down. Hold on to the top of the pants as you do that and pull up, pull up as you go. All right. Now from here, if you've got good flexibility, you can lift your leg up, your unaffected leg, and put in the other pants leg. However, if you can't quite get this much flexibility, lower the opening of the pants down to below your affected knee, bend over, and hold the pant leg open. Slide through, pull, 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 both legs, make sure they stay on, and pant legs are on. Now from here, we get pretty close to about the same as with the shorts. So if you feel confident and stable enough to be able to stand up, we will do that zip and button. So let me show you that first. Stand up. We do a shimmy on both sides. And then from there, we will zip first and then button last. To take off, we're gonna unbutton, unzip, and shimmy down. One side at a time. Round the back. And you can do this just using your unaffected arm. However, if you have any movement in your affected arm, help out. Okay, so affected leg comes out last. So with these, they're big enough that I can kick them off. So I would then just kind of scoot that other leg off with my unaffected leg. And there we go. Pants on and off without adaptive equipment. All right, pants with adaptive equipment. We're gonna be using the same equipment as we used with the shorts, a reacher and a button hook. So what we're gonna do is take our pants, affected side in first, and we're gonna take our reacher, scoop it open, and start pulling up the pants over the affected side. Once you've got it started, you can kind of pull, 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 
until you see those toes poking out. And usually either wearing no socks or socks that are a little slippy slidey, I have found to be best. Don't try to do this with shoes on or with those grippy socks on because the pants will absolutely get caught on them. <laughs> Once you've got your pants here, we are at a similar place as without the adaptive equipment. Sometimes it's just hard to get all the way down or if you can't get in the position to turn sideways, um, if you don't have that range of motion or flexibility, then you can just use the reacher to help get it over your toes. But from here, again, we will slip our unaffected leg into the pant leg, pull up, 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 and just like before, we are going to use the button hook when we get the pants on. Now, I am gonna show you because I didn't show you before, um, putting pants on laying down. So it's gonna be the same technique as with the shorts, but I, we just have a little bit more material to deal with. So we are gonna go ahead and lay down. And again, if you have got the strength and the stability to do what we call a hip bridge, which is pushing your bottom up, and then we're just gonna shimmy, shimmy these pant legs up over our bottom and our hips. And then once we're there, we've got the pants up and over our bottom. We're gonna take and zip them up and then we'll use the button hook to get our button buttoned. So we're gonna slip it through that little slot, get our button inside, and then we're gonna pull, pull, pull until it comes through. At the end of the day, there's no right or wrong way to put your pants on. Everybody's gotta do it one leg at a time. And as long as you're being safe while you're doing it, that's what matters. All right, everyone, that's it for today. What techniques or adaptive equipment have you used to put on your pants and shorts that's been helpful for you? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Love to hear from you. And as always, I've got a link down in the description to sign up for my email list if you'd like to get three free stroke recovery tips and motivational emails a week. It also gets you access to my free ebook, The Stroke Recovery Pocket Guide. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.